Hey guys, who's ready for a thrift haul? The kids were off of school this past week for Easter break, but I ended up having a few hours to myself while they stayed at my parents' house. So I decided to hit up the local thrift stores in my town. I haven't been there and I don't know, it's been a while. So I was super excited about all the stuff that I found and I cannot wait to show y'all. If you are new to my channel, I am Julie. I love thrift store shopping, doing lots of thrift flips. If these are the kind of videos you like, make sure you subscribe. And if you are a new subscriber, let me know so I can tell you hello. All right, let's just go ahead and get straight to the haul. So like I said, I went to two thrift stores in town and then also I have an estate sale that I went to like a few weeks ago and I hadn't even showed y'all what I bought. So we're gonna put that all into this video. The first thrift store that I went to is only open a few days a week and the day that it opens, like the second that it opens, there's a line out the door, everybody trying to get the good stuff. I did not get there right when it opened. I probably got there like 30 minutes late, but I don't really stress about that stuff. I find what I find. If I didn't find it, then I didn't need it. So I just don't even worry about it. But I did see these from across the thrift store and I hauled butt to them before anybody else could get them because I couldn't even believe these things were still there. Look at them. They are massive. They were $5 each and I thought they were so great. Big, huge candlesticks have been selling so good for me. So I'll most likely paint these white and probably sell the set together for around like $30 or something, just depending on the amount of time it takes me to fix them up. They have like a red cherry finish to them, but definitely paint it white in distress. They're gonna look perfect. When you have something with a dark finish like this, when you paint it white and distress it, it always looks amazing. So I was super excited to find these. And then I found this cute little watering can. It actually has holes and you could use it as a little watering can if you want. It's so cute, it's made of ceramic. It was $1, so I couldn't pass it up. It's gonna look so cute. Probably paint it white. Absolutely adorable. Love this. And then I found this little sprig for a dollar. I just thought this would be so cute. I like to try to find stuff that I keep to style my pieces because when you style your pieces, they sell so much quicker. And if I found like a, a large glass jar or something that I just wanted like one sprig to come out of. And I love these like little white balls. So this is for me just to use to style my stuff. So cute. It's always good when you find great greenery at the thrift store. And then I found these two. These are just like decorative hangers, which they look great as is. But sometimes I come, aco come across these big cloches that maybe have a hole or something in it. Then, okay, imagine this, like a huge glass dome. And you glue this on top. And then you just have like this amazing cloche and then I'd make a wood base for it. I actually have one that I'm making right now on a much smaller scale. So now I need to be on the lookout for these, for something to put um, these on. But even if I don't, I do find they're just like amazing piece of, pieces of decor just to put on a book set or anything. So for $3 for the set, I was picking these up. They feel like they made out of 10. They are very pretty. I love this. So I just feel like I can do so much with that. I mean, that was a no brainer for me to get that. Ooh, look what I found. Look at this basket. And at the time I was thinking, oh, this basket would be so perfect for lavender. And then something happened. Hold on. Y'all don't go nowhere. I'm going to be right back. I forgot to get something to show y'all. Okay. Be right back. All right. Y'all ready for this? Look what I found. Oh, what? <laughs> it is so awesome to have amazing subscribers. So in my Walmart in town that I had just went to, apparently they restocked the tall lavender and she messaged me and she said, hey, the tall lavender's in stock at Walmart. And I'm like, what? I'm going right now. So I went, y'all. If you in the area, I am sorry. Before I was nice and I left some for everybody. This time I did not. I bought all of it. Every single one of them. So I'm sorry, but I needed it for myself. 
because <laughs> I really didn't think they would restock it again. So I got the tall lavender and I went and grabbed some more foam. And if you have no clue what this is for, I will put a link in the description below to a video where I use spray foam and these tall lavenders to make the most expensive looking basket. Where did I put the basket? Um, yes. So I'm so excited because now I got so much lavender. I can be on the lookout for more of these baskets. I'm almost left this one because I'm like, I don't have any lavender to put in it. Like I'm out, but now I do. So excited y'all. Y'all don't even understand the excitement. Yes, I mean, you probably do. You probably understand the excitement when I found this. Oh, thank you so much, Marilyn, for letting me know about the lavender and not buying it all before I got there. Score, I was excited. Okay, this is for me. I love these little things on my entertainment center just to put like one little sprig of greenery. It was $2, so I don't know if it would have been the right price for a resale, but for me, I like it. I love like the blue tint to it. It looks good with my decor in my house. And so, yeah, that was coming home with me. Okay, the next thing is a little weird, but I don't know. I just like really like it. So... I don't know what this is. I mean, it's a garland. It's some kind of like sea creature life thing happening here. But I really love the colors on it. I feel like it's very like coastal farmhouse. We're in the South here. I thought they were $9. There was a bunch of them. I thought they were $9, but when I went to check out, they were $4. And I'm like, should I buy the rest of them? But I didn't. I walked out the store. Um, I'm most likely not going to leave it as a garland, although I might try it on top of my cabinets because I really like this. It's different. It's pretty. It goes with the theme I have going on in my house. We live on the water, but my decor is like very more farmhouse. I just, I just feel like this fits my vibe. So I do have some other ideas for it, like taking it apart. Whenever I do oyster crosses, they turn out super popular. They're a good seller. And I'm kind of thinking I should maybe try this the same way I do some of my oyster art, like filling up this up in a jar with some greenery. It's just got the same color, color palette going on. So I bought one. Then I went to another thrift store and I couldn't stop thinking about this. I'm like, I'm going to come up with something amazing to do with these and I'm never going to find them again. So then I went back to the first thrift store and I bought three more of them. I ended up leaving one just in case somebody else wanted one. I felt like four was enough. So yeah, now I have four of these garland thingies and I'm going to find something cool to do with it. I mean, I have to now because I bought a bunch of them, <laughs> but I think it's going to be good. I knew if I didn't go back to $4, if I didn't go back and buy them, I would regret it. So I have them and we're going to figure some out. Oh, I was also thinking just as like, so look how cool the, the, and how much texture ha they have going on here. I think it would be cool just to even glue them on a piece of wood and then framed out just to create like textured artwork in a bathroom. I think that would be so pretty. Yeah. So I do, I have ideas for these. I just need to execute them and I'm excited about that. Okay. Susan, are you watching? Do you remember this? So I ended up running into two people at the thrift store that had been watching my videos. I really didn't think a lot of local people watch me, but I ran into two people just at the thrift store uh, the other day. So she was in line checking out and she was excited to show me what she bought. And she's like, oh, look at this cute little box. She's like, I think I'm gonna use it to put toothpicks in. Well, I said, oh, I thought you were going to say teeth because I have some like this that I had bought to put my kids' teeth in, but never did. Anyway, when she went with the T sound, I thought she was going to say teeth. So I said, oh, I thought you were going to say teeth. And then she's like, oh my God, no, I was thinking toothpicks. Now I can't buy this anymore. I'm going to be thinking about like old teeth in here. So anyway, it was funny, but... When I went to check out later on, I saw that she didn't buy it. She had left it on the corner by the register, so I bought it. 
<laughs> so Susan, if you changed your mind and you want your toothpick box back, I have it. If not, I'm going to give it to my kids to paint. <laughs> but I was like, I had to buy it. I had to buy it. I'm pretty sure you can get this at Hobby Lobby. I feel like I've seen it all over the place. Um, it's just like a little tiny treasure box. But yeah, after like that interaction, I'm like, well, I have to buy the box. I can't leave it at the thrift store. And then I bought this big box. So it, this whole box was only $5. And that's because the lid's missing. But sorry, had to go deal with kids for a minute. You know how it is. Back to this box that was $5. So it was $5 because it's missing the top, but I feel like that's not a big deal because I think it's perfect for blankets or toys or whatever. Something that you don't really need a top for anyway. I think it would look great painted up and then to put like a cute like product stamp or something right here just to make it look like an old box. So this will probably definitely be on an upcoming thrift flip video because I think that would be a fun one to do some different stuff on. And then what's in here? Oh, I got some clothes for Waylon. They always have really good, he's all into the dry fit Nike. And I find over there, I can always find like Nike and Under Armour stuff for him in great condition. Like look at this shirt, it looks like brand new. So yeah, I got him. I ain't, I ain't above thrifting my kids' clothes, so this is the kind of stuff he likes, and when I can find it for a good price, then there we go, because he is so, like, more than my other kids, he is so hard on his clothes. Like, if it lasts two or three wears, I'm surprised. Like, I don't know what he does, but he just destroys clothes. And then he likes his name brand stuff, so I don't like to pay name brand prices when he can't take care of it. And then I found a uh, magazine rack. I was so excited. This one was only $5. It has this for tan. And I've actually had one exactly like this before. I painted the whole thing white, distressed it. And these are so cute. Love it, love it, love it. So, and I usually sell these for like $35, $40, just depending on how awesome they turned out. So I believe that was everything from that first thrift store. So, and when I, when I went back the second time to get the other little seashell thingies, I didn't buy anything else. I just went in, grabbed that and left. Y'all, some of this stuff I might have to keep. So this is all from the second thrift store. Look how pretty this is. Tarnished silver. It has like this white coming through. Oh my God. I'm most likely keeping this one i love it so much i paid five dollars for this and probably because i was thinking i'm keeping this and i was okay with spending five dollars on this look how good it looks with white love 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 this this is something i've picked up a few times i think it has a top yeah it does i picked this one up a few times and sewed it a few times i might have to keep this one too it was also, it was $6. It was $6, yeah. And, yeah, I might be keeping this one too. It's so cute. That must be something they made a lot of because that's something I've thrifted and sewed quite a few times already. And then look how cute this one is. I love the shape. It's brass. Look at the cute little handle. It got a wood handle. I love these little knobbies and like the straight, whatever this part's called. I love it. It did not come with a top, but that never stops me from buying because honestly, the only thing I think about is like something to put flowers in. And this one was $3. So cute. Adorable. I need to get all my shelves and everything decorated. That way I can like really decide what I want to keep, what I want to get rid of. Sometimes it's hard to decide. And I bought these two things. It was, they were a dollar each and they're actually just from the Target dollar spot and they were a dollar, but I don't shop there. So I don't know, but I'm thinking these are perfect. I don't have anything to like show y'all. But like say I had like a cool bowl or like a pan or something that I wanted to 
become like a plant stand, then this would be the perfect base for it. So this is just gonna be a piece to something else. So I picked up both of these and maybe I can even make a set of something. That would be cute. So I don't know if that's something like new at the Target dollar spot, old, I don't know. I don't shop the Target dollar spot. The nearest Target to me is like an hour away and I don't really go there. And then this basket was only, I think she said 50 cents. How cute is it? It's chicken wire, it is brown, it is absolutely adorable. So cute. Just put some like floral in there. I'll have some, I don't know if I can reach it. This floral's too long. But what I love about these chicken wire baskets is whatever you put in it, you can still see. I mean, you can fill it with eggs if you want it and it would still look adorable. Y'all get the point. Okay. I bought this floral. I know it's kind of out of date, but it reminds me of like the, the dry floral is so in style right now. So what you do is you just take like a sprig of it. Let me show y'all if I can get it off. So you just take a sprig instead of a whole cluster and you put it in one tiny thing. And then that totally updates the whole look instead of having a whole thing of these in a canister. This is outdated, okay? It's not how you do it anymore. This is the way to do it. So if you come across these in the right color, pick them up. This is gonna be so perfect to accessorize and stage my stuff for fall. I'm glad I had that little pot to show y'all that. And then look how tall this is. This is gonna be so cute to do the little cement, faux cement, um, paint, baking soda mixture on here and put something cute. I love how tall this is. This would be perfect for the lavender. All right, I got one kind of crazy lavender right here. So big, I can't even put it in the whole shot. So I picked that up. Oh, I was excited about this. Look at this. So cute. This is definitely going to get like a little paint job. It has a hole in the back so I could put it on a piece of wood. And this looks so cute with floral. I get so excited when I find these. That's going to be adorable. I love baskets. Okay, these next two things I picked up specifically for a video that I'm going to be doing. So y'all have to stay tuned for that. But I got this duck. And I got this pot and they're going to be in a video together. So that'll be coming up soon. I don't, I don't want to say when, cause I don't know, but I definitely thrifted those just for this one specific idea I have. And then this basket was only a dollar. Look how big it is. It got a like chippy brown finish. I have one like this almost almost exactly like this in my living room on my entertainment center. I'll insert like a little video of it, but it's great to just like ground your decor. So I have this actually on a shelf, but then I have stuff in it. It just gives it a different look. Or if you have like a big coffee table or island, you could put this on there and then put your decor in it. It just kind of keeps it like all in one place. And it's super, super cute. I'm not gonna do anything to this. I like the way it looks right now really cute i was pumped to find that for a dollar and i think that is everything from the second thrift store now i'm gonna go clear this stuff out a little bit and grab the stuff from the estate sale that i went to a few weeks ago the estate sale that i went to was actually somebody that i knew she had been my son's art teacher for a few years. So it was somebody that I knew and had spoken with and the whole estate sale was actually art themed. So it was her artwork. It was picture frames. It was art supplies. They hadn't um, gone through the house yet and had the estate sale for that. This one was at a different location. So it was definitely fun to talk to her kids, talk to her family and talk about her and look through her stuff. Um, I bought like a few art supplies. I love these. So this is paper made by her. This is the stuff I used to do in college and really enjoyed. So I got a few of them and I'm thinking these would be so, is that seriously another kid? Hello. Hello. <laughs> 
I'm trying to film a video. You want to come say hello? Look, come say hello to the camera. Come see. Come see. That's some big candlesticks I'm going to sell. Say hello. Hello. Say hey. I'm interrupting this video with all this cuteness. All right, let me go take care of her and then we'll get back to this haul. Okay, let's see if we can get through this haul without any other interruptions. <laughs> That's why I film my thrift flips with no sound. That way, if something happens, I just talk over it and I can deal with my life and film at the same time. But these haul videos are a little bit different. Okay, so like I said, I bought this handmade paper. I think it's so beautiful and will look great to put a little stamp on and frame out it has so much texture i love this i would love to make my own handmade paper at some point i remember doing that as a kid and it was really fun and also in college we used to make our own paper and uh, then print stuff on it i love stuff like that oh look at this stamp how cool it's just a i can't read it because it's backwards but it's a music sheet. I think this would look great. Like even to stamp on here, that would be pretty. I just figured I couldn't go wrong. I think it was like a dollar. Oh yeah, a dollar. It's like, I am taking that home with me. And then I got a brayer. So that way when I want to stamp using chalk paint, if you bray it out, then you can put the stamp in it and stamp it. And it's a lot better than putting it on with the brush. So I was excited to get like a little brayer. This one doesn't look old. I don't know. doesn't matter. As long as it works, it don't matter. I bought this for me to use. And then I bought some canvas paper. This is also great just to have as a background. It has a lot of texture to it. And these are very expensive, brand new. I think I paid a dollar for this. And they still have a lot of sheets to it. And it's a good size. So that's my plan to use it just as a backdrop or even as a mat if i want to mat something out this looks great i did buy some mats so they had like real true mats three feet by two feet for a dollar i only bought four and i'm kind of wishing i would have bought more but they're huge and i don't really have room to put them so i just got what i needed i want to remat some of the pictures in my house so i bought four of those i was really excited to get some mats and then the rest of the stuff I bought is all picture frames. She had some really amazing old ones. So anything that was awesome, I picked up. Now I'm just showing y'all the really old awesome ones, but I did buy just some plain metal ones in different sizes to do like a collage in my daughter's room. And those are already in her room. So I don't have those to show y'all, but those were like a dollar each. Like the picture frames are so cheap. And there was an entire room just of picture frames. It was insane. Yes. So I got this one. I just tried to be picky with the more, more ornate ones. That The kind of stuff you just can't replicate and the stuff that's a little bit harder to find. So this would actually be cute with one of these in there at the top and then you still have room to maybe put some words at the bottom like say you stamped like a butterfly right here and then you could put like the name of the butterfly down there i just love that kind of look so these i've already they were very chippy so i've already cleaned them up and sealed them with mod podge i love using mod podge when i have something that's super chippy because it's not only a sealer it's also a glue so it's perfect for this kind of stuff the only thing is even when you use a matte finish it does just have a little bit of a shine so it doesn't have quite the matte finish that it did when i picked it up but it's the only way to really rescue it I didn't think I had a spot for this in my room, but I'm thinking this might look really pretty in my girl's bathroom. So after this video, I'm going to go try it in there because if not, I think I have a buyer for this already, but this one's my favorite. It's so pretty. I love this frame. And I like how the sides have a piece coming out to hang it up instead of in the back. That's a little bit different. I thought that was cool. This one I might be keeping too. I feel like I'm keeping a lot of stuff on this haul, but I think this will be so pretty in my master bath in the toilet room. I've been looking for like a long skinny piece 
something that I can put my own custom artwork in. So I really like this. It was a little bit lighter. And then once I put the Mod Podge on it, that kind of darkened it up. But this one was like really falling apart and flaking. So I definitely needed to put some stuff on it to save it. And I actually like the darker color. Because I wasn't thinking my bathroom. But once I put the sealer on, I'm like, oh, that would look good in there. This one's beautiful. I did not have to seal this one up. I just cleaned it up. And it's so so pretty can y'all see that i love the holes they have going on if you are just looking for a very ornate piece you could put a picture in here if you want it it has a room to put glass and a picture and all that but all of these just with a wreath are just hanging by itself like it's just a statement piece i can't i, I paid like three to four dollars for all these frames y'all they're so good so this piece i picked up to go in my bathroom because like I said, I was looking for something tall and skinny that I can make my own custom artwork. And I want to paint it like the same color as my walls. That way it just kind of blends in. But it has lots of layers and chunkiness. So I don't know. I have to figure out which one I want in my bathroom. But I love these frames. And you just paint them up and just all these like layers of molding. Even if you paint, them, paint it the same color and don't even distress it, it looks absolutely amazing love this kind of stuff all right we're on the last the last thing finally this big chunky wood frame i just could not pass it up it's huge i'll probably put a sign or something in it you know see how big it is so pretty yeah she has some awesome stuff look how thick it is love 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 this just the kind of stuff you cannot recreate so I'll just put a piece of wood in it, paint it up, put some kind of saying on it, and it's going to look amazing in somebody's house. Especially since a lot of people are going with white. Like you just throw in a little bit of wood and it looks awesome. All right, guys, that is it. Let me wrap up this video before we have any more interruptions. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Y'all please leave a comment below and let me know what you thought was the best thing that I picked up today. What you think I should keep? What you think I should sell? Should I keep all the stuff I said I was gonna keep or should I sell it? I don't know. That's always the hardest decision, right? All right, guys, y'all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all in the next video. I hung up the frame in the girl's bathroom, but I'm wondering what y'all think. I'm not 100% positive. It is matching with the rest of the decor in here I love those hooks on the side so I ended up moving one at the top and then putting some twine on them that way I could hang it vertically instead of horizontally I definitely would want to put something in the frame I would not leave it blank but once again I'm not positive it goes with the decor that I have in here already. So yes, y'all leave me a comment and let me know what y'all think about it. I did decide that this was a frame I was gonna use for my master bath. It just fits the space better and I love how chunky it is. I think the other one was just like a little bit too thin. So now I just need to paint the frame and then decide what custom art piece I want to put in it. I really need to finish decorating these shelves, but I put one of these Sea Life garlands up and y'all see what I'm saying? It really goes with the color palette I have going on right here. So y'all let me know what y'all think of this odd thing I bought, if you are into it or not. I am totally into it, but I wanna know what y'all think. Give this video a big